I feel like they always see you in your curated like coquette Barbie <laughs> moment, but it's like no, there is so much brains and business behind this Barbie baby. <laughs> First, I've had partners like hit on Nikki before. No, I would be out. This is T. Um, Nikki actually had a manager that okay. This is I've never mentioned this on my channel before, but I'm gonna say it in this because it's just T. Half of me, half of my salary going to, without my consent, 20% of it going uh -huh. to someone else. But if you want to divorce your twin. Hey guys, it's Gabby and Sugar. This is a collab that has been in the works for about a year now. Mm -hmm. Sugar is Sugar of the Sugar and Spice duo. They are twin drag queens and they're TikTok famous. And I followed the journey on RuPaul last year. I have been such a fan of Sugar. Sugar's style is simply iconic, so beautiful. It's everything I would wear. The outfits. I've always been so impressed and I'm just so honored to just be in the Sugar Palace right now surrounded by sugary things and Barbies and shoes and pleasers above the refrigerator. This is just, this has been an incredible night and I'm just so honored to be here. No, seriously, <laughs> I'm having so much fun with you and that was the nicest little intro and I could say the same about you. It's just so rare to meet someone that does what we do, but I would actually want to hang out with you off camera and that's all we've done. Yes. And it's cool to actually, wait, we're friends and we're like, okay, now we're fine. Like, we should have been filming months ago, but I it's know. just like, we made it was work, no And now this is the first time I know. for many more because yeah. we are like literally yeah. consistently building a list on a notes app of ideas. Yes. We can't stop coming up with ideas because I can tell Sugar yeah. is like the boss of the twins. Yes. I'm, I, Nikki, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm the boss of the twins. Yes. So when you put Sugar and Gabby together, it's like damage. Yeah. It's like we're gonna get stuff done. So I don't know if you guys have yeah. noticed my glam today. It is yes. the Ari. We're not. We can't be friends. <laughs> we're not friends. The we Ari. We did a shot before. Yeah. Um. So this is the Ariana music video. We can't be friends. Glam. Yes. And Sugar did my makeup in a video that's going on Sugar's channel. Yes. We also did some TikToks together. And this is not the look I was wearing earlier. I'm just really tired. I threw on a vintage nightgown. But Sugar is still in the I'm still in earlier. drag somehow. I mean, we do have to give Spice credit. She had to come in and help the white liner. So that Absolutely. was a slay. And I was nervous because I feel like whenever I apply makeup to normal girls and not drag queens, <laughs> the terminologies of it all. I always get nervous because, you know, we're all very particular with our makeup mm -hmm. and you're a glam girl. Like, you're not just like a clean girl, you're the glam girl, so you have standards. Thank I you. feel like you put a smoky eye on a clean girl and they're like, well, it can either go two ways. They're either like terrified. They're like, oh my God, this is so much makeup. Like, yes. wait, wait, I'm not gonna like this. This is just everything and more. Like, the pictures that mm -hmm. Oh my God, pictures, our photos. The photo shoot. Oh my god, we're so, so cute. See, this is the stuff that makes me happy. People yeah, understand. It's like, no, I don't care about anything else. But like, I'm going to bed tonight. Okay. knowing we got fire pictures. I know, and I'll be, I'll be falling asleep, like yeah. smiling like this. You have to go over to our Instas and check them out. It was so organic though, because I needed more space for my heels. Like I didn't have storage. And my friend was like, why don't you just like put them like above your fridge? And I was like, you're right. So literally it was just open and you were like, oh my God, we should that's like- That's a photo. And we I should take like, photos. Actually that's on my Instagram story right now. I actually I'm didn't so. know it to make the background. I asked my followers, if you have any questions regarding twins, let me know. And I didn't know what to make the background. Love. So I made it the tweezers above the refrigerator. Iconic. So should we get into these? We questions? should get into the questions. So obviously there's some liquor products on here. There's strawberries. There's pink lemonade. We were supposed to make cute little drinks. It got really late. We've been hanging out yeah. all night. It's like two in the morning. It's We've late. been having so much fun. We're like we don't yeah. feel like making drinks. So we're just gonna take shots when we don't want to mm. answer a question. Chase it with pink lemonade, and if it's like really that bad, we'll have like a strawberry. Okay. Um, <laughs> and also, we're gonna do it sugar's way, which is having a yes. shot with a straw so you don't ruin your mm -hmm. lipstick. See, they call this pumping. Pumping. So you gotta pump the straw because you gotta pump it up. I don't know. It's some weird drag queen thing. No, I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, <they're> like. Oh! <laughs> well, actually. Oh. <laughs> That sounds like ASMR. I, oh my god, we just launch an ASMR channel. Does a twin hugging a twin feel weird? We were just talking about this. Mm -hmm. Honestly, 
I hate hugging Spice because I feel like I'm hugging myself. Nikki and I, whenever we like hug each other, we, well we don't, but when we do, we like are like, ew, ew. And I have a theory, it's because we, we also feel like we're hugging mm. ourselves. And I don't know what the logic is behind that. Cause like, I would love to hug myself, but I think it's just like, Nikki looks how I see myself when I look in a mirror. Right. So it's like, Well, that's you know, the thing. When you're with your twin, I feel like people don't understand when we have those bickering moments on the outside looking in it's probably like oh my god they hate each other it's like no imagine if you grew up with a mirror of yourself so anything you don't like about yourself it's going to be projected onto that person because they probably do the same things or you anything yeah. you, any insecurity you have say if you hate being short and you're a twin short that's always going to be a constant reminder of oh i hate how short i am so if you get into a fight, the first thing you're gonna go for is, you short little biatch, boop, 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 Oh boop. my gosh, that's literally the story of Nikki and I's life. You have a really good self-esteem because you have your twin, which is your best friend, your supporter, but also you guys know your trigger points, so you're gonna tear each other down. It could be like our big, each other's biggest fans, but also each other's biggest bullies. Yes. Yeah. Because we know too much about each other because we're like this one of the halves. What's the worst moment you had twin telepathy during? Ooh. You know, I wouldn't say it's twin telepathy. I think me and Spice, we just, it's like being an old married couple. We yeah. know each other so well. So I always know what that bitch is thinking. Like you could be fighting one second and then an hour later be like, look how cute this cute little dog is in this reel. Like you, like there's no- That is so real. Let's yeah. go to the era. You know how we're all our own like worst critic? It's like if you got into a fight with yourself, it's like, girl, yes. you're over in a second. Well, my question for you is, do you think being a twin has made you better in your romantic relationships? Because- Can I have a shot for this? Because this okay. is, okay. Let's go there, baby. It's Let's two o'clock in the morning. Let's we're doing there. shots. Okay. We're in Sugar's World. Should we do it with the straw? Yeah. I love how before I was like, pump, I'm not doing it with the straw. Right? But we are, we are going to pump. We're pumping. Apparently Cheers. you just like hold it. Cheers. Cheers. I'm Yasmin. You're Chloe. We yes, have we have the brass shots. Glasses. Okay, ready? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Uh, do, you need, do you need the chaser? Uh -uh. When you're a twin, you don't realize that you're already born in a very codependent setup. Always someone by your side. Mm -hmm. So as I've gotten older, I've noticed slowly but surely, I'm like, my romantic relationships like show a constant pattern of m maybe slight codependency. Mm -hmm. And I always like take pride in being hyper independent because that's just who I am with like work. Mm -hmm. But then I'm realizing like, there's been a constant pattern in friendships, romantic relationships, like mm -hmm. with family, where I'm just always used to just Nikki. Yeah, it being a twin does affect that. When you're in romantic relationships, your inner child comes out. Yes. And like yes. my inner child like just always had Nikki to latch on to. Right. So it's like weird as you grow older. And the more you go through, like little you comes out more and more and more, so and it comes true. to the surface all the unhealed bullshit. Right. Well, you know what I always say: life isn't about finding yourself; it's about remembering who you were. I think we're yeah. both entering that space. I mean, me and Spice. This is my first time living on my own. I really admired how like Spice was here, mm -hmm. helped with all all the content, and then left and there was like, you were totally yeah. like, okay. When Nikki and I first like stopped living with each other, it was always kind of emotional like saying bye. Really? Yeah, so mm -hmm. whenever she would leave my first apartment, it would always be like sad. Mm. Cause she was used to me just being a, like a door away. Wow. So it was like the really, separation anxiety. Yeah. That's so real, but yeah. um, I mean, thank you for saying that because thank God we moved out because this was the best thing that could have happened for our relationship. Just as friends, we wanted to be getting along. We wanted to be best friends, but there were other people in the picture that, you know, didn't really allow that to happen. Oh, but, this leads to another thing. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not even picking up the question. Like, no, we could go. We could just Don't go. Don't you feel like there are some people in the entertainment industry that benefit off of you two not getting along? You know, like we've well, had friends. The friends literally try to just like sever us mm. before. The, that's that's yeah. how they got control. They go, but the, honestly, it's really dark, and I'm sure we could talk about this for hours. Yeah. 
especially on the friend topic, because people feel like, oh, if I can like talk badly about someone, that's how I can get closer with them. You feel comfortable with her to like go to her with all of like your Nikki stress. Yes. Because she already voiced to you, oh, I don't like when she does that. And then you're like, you feel comfortable and you're like, oh my God, Nikki's been bothering me so much today. And then you guys are bonding over that. And then it's this weird dynamic of this mind game. You're of, literally yeah. reading my entire 20s. Yeah. Nikki and I have this mutual understanding where we're like, we, like, we understand when shit like that happens now. Right. But I feel like growing up, especially like 20 to 30, I'm gonna be 29 in May, so it's, I'm almost 30. I still look 23. Thank you so much. Um, I got up close and personal with the skin today. She is a flawless. Definitely go over to Sugar's World on my channel because we cut up. We, <laughs> we really did. If a friend was having an issue with Nikki, then all of a sudden they'd like go to me and be like, let's hang out. And I'm like, great, mm -hmm. sure, let's hang out. And then all of a sudden that friend will start being like, you know, Nikki did this to me the other day. I'm like, fuck. I don't know how, it made me feel like a backup. And then Nikki right. would go through the same thing if like I was going through an issue with one friend, they'd go to Nikki and like, so whichever twin like they were like having an issue with, they'd go to the opposite twin and just mm. hang out with them a lot. And it was just, Textbook. it was so frustrating in my 20s. I feel like some friends did play with the fact that Nikki and I didn't have the strongest relationship. So they would just like play favorites, if that makes sense. Like, oops, whichever one they were feeling. Even with Spice, we're kind of dealing with that now because for the longest time she was dating someone. And we were kind of laughing the other day because this guy, like, it's like, girl, you gotta pick one, babe, okay? Yeah. Like he put, he was like an old friend, not even, whatever. And he like put us in a group chat. He's like, hey, I'm gonna be, you know, like when you're like, I'm gonna be in LA, let's get together. And he was clearly trying to hit on both of us. And I go, girl, you picked the wrong one. I literally left the group chat. I go, I'm not doing this. I go, it's cringe to me because it's like. I've had partners like hit on Nikki before. No, I would be out. I'll just put it this way. I've never, like in my past public stuff, I've never felt like a team with anybody because like they would always be like equally like involved with Nikki. Like it was right. never like I never felt like a team with someone in the past. Okay. And they were Nikki always was very yeah, involved. Very in, in what involved. way? Which like I I understand. In what way? Like, like not from not from her end, but always from like my partner's ends. Like they would and I knew it from these type of boys. If they found me hot, they found my twin hot. Right. So like visually, right. I guess. So um yeah, but that was always a complicated yeah. I mean, I'm not going through anything like that right now, but like that was that was always a struggle, and like there were instances like in the past, like where. Yeah, no. No, but that is yeah. so real. I think when you're <laughs> younger, when you're younger, it's way more looks focused. And it's way more superficial, so that makes sense. Like, yeah. oh, she's hot, she's hot. I got yeah. Her. When you grow up, it's more about oh, can I actually vibe with someone's essence, their energy? Do our lifestyles go together? And I think you guys are so different. Yeah, we're our personalities are so different, our styles are so different, but it's so weird if you put both of us in a room, you'd be like, there's so many similarities. Right. But <laughs> well, same with Spice, but it was so cute earlier because we're you know bickering during our little twin things, and you're like, I want my twin. I know. Seeing them fight yeah. made me miss <laughs> my twin. <laughs> like there's some Ooh, like twin perfect. language like seriously like yeah. a twin language is a thing and I saw it like it's like watching Sims like <laughs> watching sugar and spice bicker but like still like work but like bicker but like work mm -hmm. I was like oh my gosh I feel like I'm watching this you get it and we always say we bicker the most when we're working I mean, yeah but it's honestly always for the best possible outcome. We're uh, photographers, so we grew up and like we were learning all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And we would sit on the computer and fight for hours over, turn up the saturation more. No, bring that down. Like, did yes. that happen back? Yes. Who edited your videos back in the day? Nikki. <gasps> okay. How would she do it? Would she edit and then show you the final product? Or yes, she yes, she would edit and show me the final pro product. But then when I got very heavily like involved, I started like learning from her and then editing my own stuff and posting my own videos. And then she would get mad that I would post my own videos by myself on the channel. And it was just, it was just like the hot that mess express so in the beginning. But, we can relate to so yeah. much because not only are we saying it's like that whole content thing, I mean, 
we I remember we even got into a big fight because it was like last June and I wanted to film like my first like video by myself. Oh my god. And like you guys spice are going through me. all those first right now. And, and that was the thing and that's why I'm so happy to be on my own and doing like my own YouTube now because I didn't think I was able to before because she would be like, oh, but you're not filming. Because our work was so heavily involved, it was like, oh, well then, you know, she's like, well, then I have to film my own. And it was, it turned into a weird thing. And then, you know, uh, Spice had a boyfriend at the time that was really fueling us separating. Oh my gosh. And it was really dark and it was really scary. The and they partner that's all splitting done. the twins up. That's, that's definitely a thing that's it's so been scary. Of the past. Ooh, I'm getting a foot yeah. cramp. But, yeah. you know, I'm happy that's all done. It's like, you know, you can't focus on the negative, it's, but it's easy to. It's the worst when people are in like your twin's ear and like you're not there to like defend yourself. And then all of a sudden they they have like a and new- like, You're around them and they go, know? you hate me. It's yeah. so sad. But this goes so back gross. to like the struggle of the 20s. I feel like when Nikki and I didn't realize we were being played by friends, we just had friends in each other's ears, like driving us apart. That was it. Well, yeah. not friends. It was just a significant other. It was just, yeah. it's just such, it's so scary what people will do to gain control and power in a situation. Even in the entertainment industry, even it was also producers or like managers. Mm -hmm. Like Nikki, this is T. Um, Nikki actually had a manager that, okay, this is, I've never mentioned this on my channel before, but I'm gonna say it in this because it's just tea. And you know what, it's halfway into the video. They already exited it out. No one's listening. Go ahead. <laughs> so, Nikki and I both shared a manager okay. from like 2018 until 2020. This manager, and I like no longer work together, but Nikki still worked with her. And because I was on Nikki and Gabby, half of me was still working with her without my right. Mm. And that drove such a huge wedge because Nikki like really liked to work with this manager, but this manager and I like just clearly didn't get along, like it wasn't working. And so up until I would say this past October, which is I guess three years of half of me, half of my salary going to, without my consent, 20% of it going uh, to someone else. That you don't like. But I, we did not want to work together. And Nikki wanted to work with her, so because Nikki wanted to work with her, that was why happening. Did, what was, why did she want to work with her? Is she they just, just, they worked really nicely together. And so she was working independ independently and then Nikki and Gabby, I guess, was still under her. So I severed separately. So Fancy Vlogs and me is separate. So literally half of me was still working with someone that I could not work with. And that severed like three years ago. So this is just giving insight on how like being in the entertainment industry with a twin, you're like married unintentionally to a bank account. You were saying this the other day. Yeah. And you're it's, like, it's you can't making be you to hate twin. each other. Like you want to divorce your twin. Like it's just, it's, it's a really hard industry to be in with right. someone that you were raised to love and care about right. it's just it's really difficult and it takes like a lot of work on both mm -hmm. twins ends and communication yeah. Yeah. yeah well i'm sure you're just like me and i'm sure nikki vice versa it's like you know we can get into our fights and all this stuff but at the end of the day she's like Girl, send me money. Like, you know what I mean? Like, get my Uber. And I'm like, of course. Like, you know what I mean? Because it's like, mm -hmm. the love for your twin is the love you have for yourself. In that a sense. is the truest statement ever because anytime, like, we get in fights, like, I always find a way to forgive because it feels mm -hmm. like I'm, it's myself. Mm -hmm. But forgiveness is always for yourself, you know? Yeah. And for me, that's deep. Yeah, it's like, I don't want to walk around as anyone's victim. Hell no. Yeah. You have some yeah. good lines. <laughs> like, really yeah. good lines. I, I tap into my sugar the profit moments. I literally have, like, a whole, like, notes. Like, you have some of, lines that, there's some lines that you're spewing out that I just want to put in a notes app and, like, yes. tuck it all up and, like, write a song with. Okay. Like. Well, your music, have you mentioned how your music is coming out soon or shh? Am I, I do have I do have um, a song coming out. I okay. think for I want to do it for summer because summer is like party mm. era and it's like a different genre. Oh my god, you need to so. give advice, but I mean I'm not spoiling anything. 
uh, Spice is, you know, she's entering her pop star era, so she's doing her music, and you know, I'm doing my beauty thing. Uh, yes, but uh, she is coming up with a song for us to do together. So do you have any pop star advice, like oh when it comes gosh. to like, music videos? What's the okay? Advice I for? actually have really good advice. Look over your, your business manager. management. Don't let a business manager do everything for you. Right. Look over everything, and that's the best pop star advice I could give you. Okay, good. Or what, how about because like for us, <laughs> you know, we want. For this video, it's gonna be a one and done moment. Yeah. It's gonna be like our RuPaul supermodel moment. Yeah. So I'm like, girl, it needs to be sickening, but like, you know, we need the budget for that. So I'm like, okay, we'll just have to get like, you know, like when Beats won or whatever, like a sponsor to yeah. the video, like a little Tinder moment. So we'll have to finesse it and work it out. But what's been your experience, I guess, like financially when it comes to music videos? Because when I was oh, with yeah. Trisha, she was like, girl, I was spending 100K on a video, but I yeah. don't care. If, if I look back in my past, like especially like the Immaculate music video two years ago, I went deep into my pockets for that. But I look back at that and I'm like, that's a that's a piece of art. Like I will show my grandkids. I don't give a fuck. Money well I love that so much. But at the end of the day, when it comes to those things, if you're an influencer who does music, and I'm sure Trisha can relate, you just right. set you set the brand deal aside for the music video. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And you exactly. just kind of like you work the music video around like a certain like check or like right you know that was good yeah. if, right and that was uh more of our mindset because sometimes it's hard to fit it into the video so it's like okay whatever you get for this go make sure that. you separate influencer and music like that's the best right. advice i could give for that because if you work with business management they will constantly cycle everything in the same category and then it'll screw you over eventually you have to separate everything into different like right. this is not this is like my old lady mom advice and we can talk off camera but yeah. you just gotta get a hold of like everything and just know where everything's going no I love this and, and I love yeah. your people seeing yeah. this because <laughs> I feel like they always see you in your curated like coquette Barbie <laughs> moment but it's like yeah. no there is so much brains and business behind this Barbie baby <laughs> that's one of the first time that's the first time we really hung out. Miss Gabby was like, oh girl, like let's meet out to eat. It was New York Pride, my friend Ren came. I had no idea what to expect. You finessed a whole free meal for us. And this wasn't just, you know, chicken fingers and fries. They were coming out with the steaks and the lobsters and the fish and the sushi. And I was like, <laughs> Is there real chicken? Like, <laughs> so y'all are going to town, but after a while you're like, let's just drink. So we're, you know, downstairs and we're drunk, tipsy tumbling. And I go, <laughs> did you like the food? And you're like, no, I'm just drinking. And we're laughing. And like, yeah. No, you finessed it. You it's had finesse. like the manager for the food and the, the PR girl for the hotel. And it was everything. I literally, when, when I was in New York, I got a free hotel because of you, because of your people. Thank you. And she, she messaged me and she was like, I got sugar in our room. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I was like, ah. Because of you. Thank God. And so I watched your video that week because she texted I know, me. I know, I'm in there. Like, like how yeah. to be a princess. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I love that video. And you had the mannequin yeah. all staged in the back. Yeah. I saw okay, wait. Can you guys comment below and let us know what collab moment we should do next? Because I'm really, I feel like right now we either have our Screen Queens moment or the Disney Princess moment. Or what we were saying, since you love Wendy so much, mm -hmm. I think it would be so fun if we did a uh, dressing up as the slept on Disney characters. Yep, like Alice in Wonderland, Wendy. Alice. What's the girl with the sword and the stone? Don't know her, but do you remember Esmeralda? Yes, Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Or like, I love like Peasant Sleeping Beauty. Yes. Like so Princess pretty. Princess and the Pea. Yeah. Oh, or even if we did like obscure fairy tales, like there's Princess and the Pea or- um, Princess and the Popper. Princess and the Popper. Oh. Well, I know I'm you guys thinking. wanted to do that. We could still do it. We should do I it. I miss my brunette moment. Okay, you'll be brunette, I'll be blonde. I really do miss my brunette moment. I'll be Erica. I'll give you my good brunette wig. Okay, yay. Guys, we put Gabby in my pink wig. It was everything. It was- her face morphs into every celebrity. It's wild. Like before Spice was going like raving about you, she's like, girl, you're giving Vanessa Hudgens, you're giving Kylie Jenner, you're giving Kim K. Who else did we say? Uh, Ariana. Ariana, of course. Yeah, it was, it was Kylie, Vanessa, Ariana, and Kim K. I need the Vanessa moment. Have you done the no. impression? Uh, from High School Musical? No, I've never, never have. Can we get a little bit? Exactly what we're gonna do. I just realized I took this shot to do a Vanessa Hudgens impersonation and I ain't gonna do it because now I'm still shy. So... 
Well, what a secret. Did, did it sound good though? No, it sounded good. everything. I want you to go on Trisha's show. I'm gonna have to text her and that I need this to happen immediately. And I want you guys to both. Well, who would you do? Like, if you if Trish did, I'm assuming she wanted to do Sharpay. I could be Gabriella. And you'll be Gabriella. <laughs> no, she'll do Troy. Yeah. She'll do Troy. Yes. <laughs> if you're watching, go to Trish's uh, page and harass her that we need Gabby on Just Trish doing High School Musical cosplay. I'm realizing I'm shy on my YouTube channel. You are? I'm like it's hiding. You. I'm hiding my little like monologue, Gabriella monologue that I was doing earlier. What I will say though, the person I know in person, and we haven't even hung out that much, it's like, but enough to really get your essence. I feel like they're missing out because like there's so you're such a multifaceted person and like there's so many layers to you and like I'm loving getting to know it I'm loving getting to know all sides of you and I feel like you should show more of that on your YouTube but I think this is uh, gonna be a part of your new era yeah no you're right about like turning the page I bring you out of your shell yeah maybe. bring me out of my shell I've been stuck yeah. in it since 2020 yeah but we all have it's just yeah it's hard to take a step into newness because yeah. newness is scary as humans we like to be in our comfort zone oh and as a tourist i love to be in a comfort zone tell me more about being a tourist i love baths i love money and i love being stubborn is that all tourists or just a gabby i don't know i mean i'm friends with a few tourists and they send me reels of bath stuff do you like baths I, I love not really. baths. My followers know this. I love bath bombs. I love a Are you a lush tray. girl? I'm a lush girl. You would I'm, have ran a lush store like it was the damn Navy. Yeah. And there's all these oh comments about UTIs. Never happened to me. I just love a bath. Wait, what? Bath. UTIs. Like, I see all like the bath comments. So, like, I just got a UTI from watching this. Never Why? happened to me. Why? Oh, from just warm water and sun. Like, just, just like bath bombs. Oh. Like, Okay. So, <laughs> well, let it loose, baby. Uh, get up in there. pH levels would be off if you just went in with like a uh, rag. That's what they always said in high school. The girls would be like, if pH levels would be off, like you can't really wash down there. You just have to let water rinse through. I don't know. I don't. Mine's fake, so mine's tucked back to Mars, so I can't relate. But <laughs> <laughs> yes, never had that issue. Love my bath bombs. Yes. Wow. She's cute and intact and Furious. she's ready for another bath bomb. Yes. So yeah, I love bath bombs. Oh my god, I can tell that the, the this is working. Oh the yeah. We're <laughs> like we're like holding oh they can't see us holding hands because they see, oh I'm like the flowers. We're sitting on the chair. We have been talking about life. I'm gonna cut this so funny. No, yeah. This is gonna be good. Are we <laughs> did we slay? I think so. I think we slay. I think that's I think we like covered everything we need to. Oh, can we? I love you too. Can we end this video how I normally end all my videos? Yes, let's end it like you. Okay, just how do you do it? Uh, all I right? say is I'm gonna go shave my grandma's back. Bye. Go up to the camera too. Okay. Ready? I'm gonna go shave my grandma's back. Bye. Thanks for watching.